Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about To the Union Savers of Cleveland by Francis Ellen Watkins Harper. Now, before I go into this topic, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So, this poem, very powerful poem here, um, Francis Ellen Watkins Harper here uh, is talking about uh, the Union Army. Think about the Civil War in, in America. This poem was written during the Civil War. Uh, you have the Confederate Army, you have the Union Army, they're fighting. And um, Harper here uh, has a lot to say, you know. He's saying, you know, great job, guys. You know, you fought for the country, you've saved the country, the Union Army, um, you know, you've saved America. Uh, but, you know, you haven't really done anything to help, you know, black people. Um, so, you know, Harper here um, questions the motives of the, the heroes, the, the, of the Union. I mean, are you really truly in this uh, for, the, for the people? Um, you know, he says that he brings a lot of images, a lot of images of, you know, um, animals, prey and hunters uh, in the wild. Um, how the hunters are, are going against the prey and how, you know, are you going, aren't you going to help some animal that's helpless and feeble uh, when, a, when a, you know, like a wolf is coming at it, uh, when it's being hunted down? Um, do you really want to help the black people of America? Are you truly going to help them or are you going to use them and, and oppress them? Um, so he questions their motives. Are you truly in this for... Um, freedom and justice, or is it all about your greed and your own, um, you know, motives? Um, so he pretty much ends the poem with that, you know, all humans, we all have a right uh, for freedom, justice, liberty, you know, uh, you know, the, the core American values that we all believe in. Um, so the whole poem is a critique of the Union Army, uh, their beliefs, uh, you know, their lack of helping uh, you know, black people during the Civil War um, who were displaced, who lost their homes, their property, their wealth. Um, you know, are you going to help them out? What have you done to help them out? Um, again, the Civil War is a very tough time. Uh, it was a, a, a time where America was going through a major change in terms of race and culture and the hierarchy of the country. Um, so a lot of people have had a lot to say um, you know, Francis Ellen Watkins Harper here, um, he was saying, listen, I get, you know, you guys are heroes, you did it, you saved the country, you kept the union together, uh, but are you going to keep your word? Are, are you going to help out the black folk? Are you going to um, keep justice alive? Are you going to do this? Because if you don't remember, judgment is coming, God is coming. So, you know, Harper does here use here a little bit about, you know, the celestial, right? He brings in God into this. He's like, if you don't do this, if you don't keep your word, if you don't fight for true justice and give, you know, all men, you know, equal rights, right, um, then, you know, you will be judged by God and the blood will be on your heads, basically. Um, so very powerful poem. It gets, it's very clear and to the point. It uses a lot of imagery, um, you know, of nature, you know, prey, you know, hunter versus prey, um, you know, hunters going after the weak. Um, are you going to be a hunter? Are you going to, um, you know, you know, pretty much oppress black people like it's been done, you know, before the war, or are you going to truly fight for justice and equality? And if you don't choose to fight for justice and equality uh, and helping your, your, your sister, your brother, uh, well, then, you know, God's going to judge you and you're going to have to stand for, for your own wrongs and the blood's going to be in, uh, on your hands. Um, so that's pretty much the poem. That's, you know, in terms of deeper meaning and analysis here, that's what it's trying to get at um, is that, you know, um, you know, Harper here uh, is calling out hypocrisy. Are you guys going to be true or are you going to be hypocrites? All right. Are you going to say one thing and do another? Or are you going to keep the word uh, that you were um, that you said before the war? OK, um, so very significant, very powerful poem. Um, you know, that's that's pretty much it. So please remember to leave a like, subscribe and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.